morning. I'm currently in the south of Spain. The reason I'm here is because I want to experience one of the most important events in the Catholic calendar, the Semana Santa or Holy Week. We obviously have this celebration in the Philippines where I'm from. In fact, in some parts of the country, they even go to the extent of literally nailing somebody on the cross. However, I want to experience how the Spaniards do it and I've been told that the oldest and the most pious of celebrations are in the south of Spain. So here I am in Malaga and in a couple of weeks time, I'm going to go up to Seville and then end the trip in Jerez. I'm going to be attending as many processions as I can and in between, I'm going to do a bit of sightseeing. Let's go! Just a quick background about Spain. Spain is located on the Iberian Peninsula. It was part of the Roman Empire for 600 years. Then in 711, Muslim Arabs invaded Spain from North Africa and then stayed until 1492 when the Christians reconquered the whole Iberian Peninsula. This is why you'll see a mix of Roman and Moorish architecture in Spain today, especially in the south of the country. And being a Filipino, our first stop has to be the statue of Jose Rizal. He's quite an interesting man and is considered the national hero of the Philippines. He called for peaceful reform of Spain's colonial rule in the Philippines through his political writings, including the El Filibus Turismo and No Limit Tangeri. This eventually led to his execution by the Spaniards. The next stop is the magnificent Castillo de Chebrol Faro. It sits on a high hill overlooking Malaga city and dates back to the 10th century. This is an old Moorish fortress that offers a panoramic view of the city. You can take a taxi or bus to the top, but we've decided to hike up the hill. Just below Gibraltaro is another fortress called Alcazaba. It's apparently the best preserved Moorish fortress in Spain. the archaeological remains of the Roman theater, the main vestige of the Roman Empire's presence in Malaga. After the sightseeing and after demolishing a pan of Paella Negra, we joined the locals and watched the procession. Semana Santa, or Holy Week, as it's celebrated today, started in the 16th century. It was the Catholic Church's way of explaining the story of the Passion of Christ to non-religious folks. It starts in Palm Sunday and ends in Easter Sunday. Throughout the week, parts of the story of the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus are told through different processions by members of various brotherhoods. The people carrying the floats or tronos are called costalero and it is one of the highly coveted positions in this religious celebration.
procession normally starts late in the afternoon. So in the morning, we visited the Malaga Cathedral. I am in awe of how immense this building is, the intricacies of it, the designs, everything. This is what I love about going inside a building like this, in that whatever your belief is, it makes you feel small. It makes you feel like there's always something bigger than yourself. And that's a good thing.
It's been a great couple of days in Malaga. This is my kind of city. Small enough for everything to be within walking distance, but big enough to have everything you could ever need. The historic town center is largely pedestrianized and is well laid out and pleasant to explore. It has beautiful beaches, nice green parks, and ancient history. What also made a really good impression on us is how friendly the locals are, and most especially the taxi drivers. And of course, the Semana Santa processions. Semana Santa in Malaga is not just a religious celebration. It is a tradition with five centuries of history, a cultural manifestation and a spectacle that combines art, sentiment and devotion. And after two years of cancellations due to COVID, you can just feel that pent up energy being released now that the processions are back. And we're so glad to be here to witness that. Seville decks to continue the Semana Santa celebration and I will see you there. Kita kids, or as they say here in Spain, hasta luego. Mm -hmm.